How's it going, YouTube? It is Doc here, Doc Style Gaming, and we are back at it with another anthem video for you all today. Now, this video isn't going to be our standard news and info video, though we will cover some brand new developer tweets that are pretty interesting. This video, I want to cover the top 10 reasons why I believe Anthem will, in fact, succeed as a game. But before I get straight into that, like I said, I do want to cover the developer tweets because we got some brand new information about the Storm Tank build. We got what to expect from our next live stream, and we actually got to see a brand new enemy type in the game. And then also for those of you who know or are on my Discord server or just follow my videos, you know I am out of town technically this week and this is the last video that isn't actually pre-recorded. So after today, all of the videos are set on a schedule to be dropped at certain times throughout this upcoming week. Now all of these videos are brand new information still that I haven't actually covered on the channel so definitely still check them out. There's going to be some really interesting breakdowns that I know you all are really going to want to see and hear about as well including some of them coming from your favorite javelins support attachments abilities and so much more so definitely stay tuned this week like I said, even though they're pre-recorded it's still going to be information that you all are really going to want to watch and check out now that we got all of that out of the way let's hop into the developer tweets first so the first developer tweet came from John Warner and he teased a Storm Master Race fans with a possibility at a Storm tank. John tweeted that Tyler, one of the QA testers, just made me a believer that you can tank with a Storm. He just took down 45 Scar like a lightning fisted god and shrugged off the damage. Then he put bulletproof glass cannon and hashtag killer loadouts so i mean i'm just gonna say it storm is just looking better and better every single day they always have so many crazy stories of what the storm can do now i'm not saying the other javelins can't do it as well but you know the devs aren't really talking about them so i'm still rocking with the storm i know most of y'all are as well i mean i know we got some thick boy love in here we got some ranger love and interceptor love but man that storm does it does a tank storm sound great to you because it definitely does to me so i'm really looking forward to that and hopefully this next tweet kind of indicates something more with it as well so the next tweet when asked was asking if we'd be able to see that tank storm build in action next stream ben irving actually replied and said interesting idea i did promise interceptor perspective next stream so it is pretty cool that interceptors will finally get some love come this next live stream and from the perspective of the interceptor but it doesn't look like he's ruling out of us seeing that tanky storm build which i at least hope they showcase at some point even if it's just to switch perspectives for a second so we can get a look at the build and how much damage that storm tank can actually deal because the way john warner described it i would love to see that lightning fisted god in action and then the last developer tweet comes from Emily again, and she's always known for showing off some gorgeous screenshots and landscapes in Anthem, and we got that with this tweet as well with a bit extra. So this tweet, we saw another brand new location. It looks like it's near a Scar outpost. If you look pretty far in the back distance, you can see one of the outposts, but we see a bunch of leafless trees and a brand new huge looking enemy. Now, possibly it could be a Scar, but as of right Right now we don't know the name of it or what affiliation it actually is but this creature does look pretty interesting and is probably one of the most menacing of the enemies that we've seen so far outside of the wildlife and creatures in the world of anthem so it is pretty interesting that we are still seeing brand new enemies with only a couple months before release of the game i can't wait to see what other enemies they have hiding in the game that they just haven't shown off yet but this creature definitely does look pretty sweet and with that that will actually end all all of the developer tweets like i said we don't have too many but we did have some pretty new information that i at least wanted to put in here first now let's get into this top 10 everybody loves their list and i've never actually done a list on the channel so i was like why not my hype for anthem is at an all-time high especially coming off of the customization stream so let's get into this top 10 reasons on why anthem will in fact succeed when it launches let's start with number one which is the graphics now graphics currently 
isn't too big a deal in games, especially when it comes to games like God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2, even Spider-Man. But when it was originally shown off back in 2017, how gorgeous the world looked and the gameplay itself is what really captured probably everybody's attention. And the fact that even now the graphics are getting better and better, I cannot wait to see how much the graphics have improved and how nice this game is truly going to look, especially for you PC players. I'm pretty excited to see what type of photos players are going to be posting when this game drops. The graphics look fantastic and I can't wait to see them in person when I actually get my hands on this game. Let's get into reason number two which is the lore. Now everybody loves a good story, something that's going to keep bringing the players back, giving them a reason to play. Lore is always important and has always been important to me when it comes to games. One of my favorite video games of all time is actually a mobile game by the name of Infinity Blade. They had Infinity Blade 1, 2, and 3 and they had two book series to coincide with the games. The lore to that world was so fantastic. The fact that that is still one of my top favorite games says a lot just because of the story. There's still so much mystery to it and everything and that's what I love about Anthem so far. It is a mysterious yet intriguing game. There's so much we don't even know but are fascinated by everything that we do know. So again, the lore from Anthem, everything that we've got so far has been super intriguing and super fascinating. And even the teases that we've got at other things to come that we don't know about is still intriguing. So I can't wait to actually delve into the lore of Anthem when this game drops, find as much of it as possible, cover some of it on the channel as well. Lore is something again that I am really excited to see in this game and that's got me really hyped for this game as well. Now let's get into reason number three, which is custom customization. Now, all of you know that I was super hyped for a customization stream. I had been waiting to see customization in this game for the longest time. That's really all I wanted to see from a stream. And the customization stream that we just got this last weekend did not disappoint and has actually made it on this list as one of the top 10 reasons on why this game will succeed. The amount of hours that players are going to be putting into customization alone is going to be an important factor of the game. Just like Warframe, how fashion frame is the true in game at some point customization in anthem will be pretty similar so i'm extremely happy to see everything that we saw with the customization stream all the detail the depth the changes the materials the emotes everything blew my mind with that stream and customization is definitely right up there on my list I really like good movement in the game, good controls, things like that, that can really make or break a game, it can make it feel clunky, and the movement in Anthem, everything that we've seen, the traversal, the movement, the flight, that's really something that's unique to a game like this, especially in the looter shooter genre. Now we have games like Warframe that does have parkour as its main form of movement, and then we have Destiny where theirs is the jump system or the hover float down or the triple jump system, things like that, but the flight is something that's pretty unique to a game game like this and I really think it's going to make it stand out above other games because this is something that probably a lot of players have wanted to play and actually experience. Yeah, you kind of got some of that if you play some of the older Sega Iron Man games, which I do remember when they came out for PlayStation 3, but I still feel like it's going to be unique enough in a different variety to actually make it stand out among other games in its genre. Now, reason number five is very important to me, and that is the business model. Now, especially coming from EA, and I know people always get hesitant when that even is brought up, but this year, especially this year, it's been seeming like they've been trying to regain some of that player's trust, and they're definitely going to do so with Anthem. Battlefield already isn't having any paid season passes and things like that, free DLCs and whatnot, which is fantastic. And Anthem as well, another one of their AAA games, is not going to have loot boxes, it's not going to have pay to win. It's not going to have paid DLCs. The devs themselves even said they don't want to lock players behind a paywall. So I'm extremely happy to hear that and everything that we've been seeing so far is fantastic. Now, yes, there will be cosmetics that you can purchase in the game, but that is it. Cosmetics. And they did say that every cosmetic that you can purchase in the game is 100% obtainable just by playing and farming the game like normal. So you can actually obtain everything that you want in this game by just playing. You don't have to ever spend a dollar.
dollar outside of the $60 on the game that you spent. So again, a great business model for Anthem and something that I really think is going to set them ahead of a lot of games, especially competition coming in the future, especially with the graphics and other things that I've already listed so far. Reason number six on why I think Anthem will succeed as well is the gameplay. You guys cannot tell me that everything we have seen from Anthem hasn't looked fantastic. Yeah, they did have that one shoddy stream, not gonna lie, but was still fantastic everything we saw from it was new and everything still looked pretty good it runs smooth the movement looks fantastic the gunplay is on point the story looks dynamic and the world events and other things that we probably still haven't even seen everything we've seen from the gameplay looks to be exceptional and i cannot wait for this game to come out just to get my hands on it and explore everything there is to explore reason number seven is the javelins guys those four javelins regardless of who you play on maining they all look fantastic they're all unique in their own right and have very unique styles the customization on them is pretty important the different gear slots the different abilities attachments things like that will essentially make them be completely unique to each player style it lets you play as you want and even like john warner said he didn't think it was possible to be a tank as a storm so the possibilities and combinations of things that we'll probably be able to do with our javelin we haven't even seen them scratch the surface of in terms of gameplay and some of that we'll probably actually have to see ourselves when the game comes out mixing and matching different gear support attachments and things like that just to see what all our javelins can truly do Reason number eight is the community. It is you all. This is definitely one of the best communities, especially for a game that hasn't even released yet. The hype and intrigue around this game is bringing the best of players together. And I'm super happy that this community is the way it is. And hopefully that continues throughout the release of the game and throughout the life cycle of the game as well. Now, reason number nine is the developers, Bioware themselves. Their approach to community first and the amount of transparency that they've been giving with this game has been fantastic they've been keeping us up to date with all information giving us a bunch of different updates giving us streams now more often this is something that i love to see in a development group especially games like this games where people are hype and want to see what all is coming from them especially when people do have the reserves on a game the fact that they're keeping everybody up to date and trying to pretty much put a lot of people's worries at ease is something that i really commend Bioware for doing and lastly reason number 10 honestly it's just the possibilities that's what I am most hyped for the game and think will make this game succeed the things to come to this game the things that we want to see that we might actually get and the surprises that the developers probably still have in store for us so far so that's pretty much all I got for this video guys thank you all for watching like I said this is my last video that isn't pre-recorded that will be on the channel so again thank you all for watching this video to the end if you did be sure to stay tuned for the videos that will be posted this upcoming week like i said it's still a bunch of brand new information that i actually haven't covered on the channel yet that you guys definitely don't want to miss so i'll catch you all on the next one and like always if you haven't already go follow me on my social media accounts link to that is in the description below if you guys want to help support the channel i do have a patreon as well again you guys are the best Thanks for the love. Thanks for the subs. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.